Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about a real quick project that didn't take long, but is super useful in my opinion. And that is, I've been 3D printing these sort of um, drive holders, which I'll show you going into my server in just a minute, that basically the hard drive just screws to, and then it just slides right in. And it's a lot easier than trying to shove it in there, and the hard drive's not resting on its connector, so it's got a bit of support. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because usually you would buy trays like these, which are really nice, and they work well, and they fit in, and they lock in, and that's all great, but these cost $10 a piece. And if you're on a budget like I am, $10 is a lot of money for really just a chunk of metal. Um, and all it, all it basically does is you take a hard drive like this one, shove it in there, and then there are mounting screws on all sides and the drive screws in there and then I'll show you in a second how it just fits into the machine and it's super simple for hot swapping and this and that um, because you know basically the whole point of this is to save cost so what I've done and I will be posting the link in the description where you can download them I am currently printing a set of two more because that's all I need and I've got a design with and without holes. You can kind of see there's one right there. And those will need to be drilled out um, to whatever size screw you're using. Um, if you're using larger ones or smaller ones, depending on the drive you're trying to install. So um, these are spaced out. You can kind of see they're spaced out for a two and a half inch hard drive, i.e. these little laptop hard drives that I have laying around everywhere. Um, and I, these screws that I'm using, uh, have a bit of, um, a bit of a lip on them on the side, so I just took my, my Dremel and shaved it down a little bit. Chances are you'll be using screws that look like that in the head, and, um, it's not a big deal at all. So, yeah, we, I'll go ahead and show you putting these in there. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you how these regular drive trays slip in. You can see there's these uh, rails here and they literally just fit in like that and then they lock closed and that's all fine and dandy. That's great if you're willing to spend $10 per tray and if you have all six bays populated that's 60 bucks just for hard drive trays and uh, most consumers aren't going to have that kind of money. Of course, this isn't a consumer-grade machine in the first place, but, you know, I have it, and it's really a wonderful machine for my usage. So we'll go ahead and take this, which is what I printed, and again, it just, it just slips right into the side here, and um, it's just pushed all the way back. Sorry, my hands are in the way. It's a bit hard to get in, but it's a lot easier than before. And then the drive just rests like that. Um, and if you wanted to, if you're not putting a three and a half inch drive, you can take um, one of these filler bits and shove it in there and go ahead and just cut down. Cut down that, but uh, I'm not going to. I don't need to. But uh, otherwise, the fillers would just snap in like that. But that's just an extra cost. So they just slip in like that. However, if you are, I can get this out real quick. If you are using. A three and a half inch drive and you can actually get the drive back out there we go if you are using a three and a half inch drive what I recommend you do is print two of these these orange bits and put one on either side and uh, then drill the holes out accordingly so then the drive will just slip in easier but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find this useful. Look in the, link, look in the description for the link to download this. Um, have a very nice day.